short tutorial is to teach designers how to perform optimization in ADS. Uh, performing optimization in ADS is three step process. Uh, first of all, uh, designer needs to set the optimization goal. Uh, then they need to set up the optimization controller. And finally, uh, we need to define the component values as optimizable in a in a range uh, starting from some minimum value up to maximum value. Now let us see how this optimization can be performed using a simple example in ADS. Let's begin understanding the optimization in ADS using the simple low pass uh, filter circuit whereby we have three inductors and two capacitors uh, set up in a low pass configurations and the values of these inductors and capacitors are being defined by uh, the variable block uh, L1, L2, L3 for three inductors, C1 and C2 for two capacitors. So currently they have been set to initialize with a value of 10 and when we perform a nominal simulations in ADS we can see the response which is not necessarily like a low pass filter and we would like to achieve a certain we want to perform certain optimization in order to achieve uh, desirable results so as illustrated in PPT there's a three step process to begin the optimization process we can go to the library of optimization stat in DOE in ADS in this library, the first two items on the toolbar is of our interest in performing this optimization. So first of all, let's place a goal onto a schematic and users can place as many goals as they want uh, depending on what's the requirement from the circuit. And by double clicking on this goal, we can start defining the expression which needs to be optimized. So in a low pass filter, we have two spatial uh, graphs plotted which we need to optimize. One is for S21 and another is for S11. So we will define one goal for S21 and another for S11. For S21 we can start typing the expression which is used for S21 graph plotting and in analysis we can select the S parameter analysis such as SP1 shown. So this is essentially the y-axis value and this is the analysis which is producing S21 value. In case of independent variable we need to add the x-axis value and in the normal S parameter simulation the x-axis value is freak which is keyword for frequency. So once we add the y and x-axis we can define the limits or the goals which we want to achieve. So let's set the limit 1 for pass band whereby we can ask the optimizer to try to achieve insertion loss of better than 1 dB from the starting frequency which is 1 megahertz as set in S parameter controller block up to uh, 100 megahertz. So this is our pass band to achieve uh, better than 1 dB insertion loss. We can add one more limit to this and add a rejection criteria which should be less than minus 40 dB starting from 250 megahertz to 500 megahertz which is the maximum frequency as set in S parameter controller dialog box on the schematic. So this completes our S21 optimization goals for low pass filter response and we can place another goal to define S11 specification which needs to be achieved after optimization. For S11 we can double click and very similar to the way how we specified for S21 we can begin defining the goals. We can add the independent variables pretty much as the earlier goal. And for S11 we need to only specify the pass band criteria because we really don't care what's happening to S11 outside the pass band area. So we can select the limit to be less than and we can select minus 20 dB which is a pretty decent number to achieve for written loss response and the pass band again is going to be from 1 megahertz to 100 megahertz. So with this two goal setting we have achieved the step number one uh, of optimization process which is to set the goals. The second step is to place the optimization controller which is shown by this gear icon on this schematic 
and in this optimization controller we can choose the optimization type which needs to perform ADS offers variety of optimization choices so where user can pick random gradient etc so we will start our design process or optimization process by selecting random and number of iterations to be 2500 so with this we also finish the second step of our optimization the third and final step is to define these inductors and capacitor values to be optimizable in certain minimum and maximum range and that can be very simply done by going to option menu simulate and simulation variable setup so this window brings out uh, a pop-up window with four key uh, tabs on top of it for optimization we can go to optimization tab and we can select the values which needs to be optimized and we can change the minimum and maximum values. so in this case let's change the maximum value of each of these components to be 1500 so that we have decent enough range to change the component values during optimization so once we are finished we click OK and now we have completed all three key steps of optimization in order to run optimization uh, designers can click on this new button in ADS 2009 update 1 for beginning the optimization process so once we click this button as can be seen our optimization cockpit window is visible uh, with with the goals which we have set and before we can even talk the goals have been met so this window is very flexible uh, whereby you can define and edit the goals uh, you can change the goals you can change the algorithms you can do component tuning and so on there's a separate video on optimization cockpit window uh, and users are recommended to see that uh, full video which is on Agile and ESOF website to get more idea about the features of optimization cockpit uh, once our goals have been met we can simply close the optimization cockpit and during that the option comes out to update the design and we can select to update the design and now this is our optimized filter response with written loss better than 20 dB till 100 megahertz and if we place a marker over the the passband edge and it is meeting our criteria of better than 1 dB in session loss thanks for your attention uh, for watching this optimization video uh, stay tuned for more tutorial videos on this YouTube channel thank you